everybody welcome back to my channel today's video is a story time on my first period so i was about 12 or 13 somewhere around that age and i had just came back from a week long summer camp no sorry a week long camping like a little camping trip um we were on another island in the bahamas so we flew so on the plane ride back to the island that i'm from i had a stomach ache but i didn't pay attention to it got in the car um talked to my mom on the ride home i went in the bathroom and to my surprise there was blood in my underwear now I didn't think I knew much about it at the time to expect it but I mean I knew about it but I didn't think it was happening to me so I initially said oh my gosh my butt's bleeding and I took my underwear off um, I threw that one in the garbage I put on another one because I'm like okay we're gonna wash up and it should it should stop bleeding so I did all of that and I washed up and everything and put on a fresh pair of underwear and within like two hours there was again a whole murder scene in my underwear so at this point I'm like oh gosh I'm losing so much blood I'm dying like I'm really dying and so I decided that I was going to change that pair of underwear again. Still didn't tell my mom, my sister, my older cousins, nobody. I said, I'm going to change that pair of underwear again. And I'm going to, this time, I'm going to st stuff my butt with tissue and put tissue in my underwear. Because to me, that's the only thing that seems to make sense. Like, why was my butt bleeding? And I didn't want my mom to worry and be like, oh my gosh, she's dying too. So keep in mind... When I came off of the plane, it was about 10 o'clock in the morning. So now we're going at about one o'clock in the day and I'm still using tissue and hiding and throwing panties in the garbage. Like I'm doing all of that. And now when I went back, I realized, yo, the tissue is bloody. Like what's really going on? So I'm hiding it, throwing them in the, flushing them down the toilet and changing it like every 30 minutes because I don't want it to be noticeable and I was just freaking out at that point so I decided hey maybe if I put a lot more tissue in my underwear it wouldn't you know be a big issue like I wouldn't have to change it so often when I made that choice I don't know why <laughs> because for some reason I guess I didn't realize blood is a liquid and though it's not like water and it tears through the tissue it really degrades the tissue so I was walking and I had on shorts and I guess I stuffed the tissue so much that I had it like stuck to the sides of my panties too and um my shorts were pretty baggy and I guess with me rubbing and walking the um a part of the tissue fell, <laughs> fell out so embarrassing but a part of the tissue fell out and uh i didn't notice until i was walking back so it fell out when i was going like towards our kitchen and when i was coming back to my bedroom is when i saw like oh my god my tissue fell out so i didn't know who else saw it so i picked it up i threw it in the um toilet and i flushed it down really really quickly because i was like oh my god oh my god they're gonna know i'm dying and so um after that it went on throughout the day and i think it was about eight o'clock and my mom i guess she finally went into the bathroom because i threw them in the garbage but i didn't think to take the garbage out so nobody could find out and uh my mom was like why are you throwing your underwear away and i was like oh they're old and da, 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 trying to make up an excuse she said, well, that one has blood. And I'm like, oh, I don't know how. I don't know what happened. I probably scraped my knee or something when I was at camp. And 
um yeah keep in mind my lies were not making sense at all but um my mom asked and i was like my butt's bleeding okay my butt is bleeding and i don't know what to do my butt is bleeding and um yeah she was like no your butt's not bleeding you're having a period and at that point my world crashed because i was like oh gosh i can't have a period what do i do it was not like how it is today when you find out you have your period and I guess I don't know if kids are excited at twelve thirty when they find out, but I was not excited. I was like, "Oh my God, it sounds like so much work, and I don't want it. Why do I have to have it?" And she gave me a pad, and I waddled like a duck wearing that pad because it was the most uncomfortable feeling ever. I absolutely hated them, and at this point. My mom and my sister were the only ones in the house wearing pads, obviously. So they had pads that fit them. Yeah, pad, pads go with sizes. But I didn't know that. I guess my mom didn't know either. But their pads suited them. They were bigger. And at this point, I felt like I was wearing a diaper. I hated it. I told none of my friends. I was too embarrassed to have that conversation with any of them because I was like they're gonna be so disgusted but lo and behold the same thing happened to one of my friends who also went on the trip with me right before we went on the trip so but she was experiencing it I guess days before our trip and she didn't know if it was gonna come back on the trip and she was trying to hide it from us but that is my first period story I was traumatized um did not want it still really don't want it um but yeah hope you enjoyed my somewhat entertaining first period story and i will see you in another video bye